know, the crowd response has been great. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes us. I don't know why, but you know, we're having a good time. <laughs> I see. So you're happy with the concert halls, right? Yeah, they're, mm -hmm. they're uh, real nice places for us to play. They sound real good. Mm -hmm. People are behaved. I just wish they knew what I was saying in between songs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, are there any bands that you like? Uh, Dave, I heard that you really like Guns N' Roses. Me? Mm, no? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. They're, they're friends of mine. I like Slash. I've been hanging around with him a little bit lately. We talk on the phone all the time, but um, I uh, actually I really don't spend too much time listening to other bands because mm -hmm. I've got so much so much business to take care of. Being in a band, being a band leader, you've got to worry about the other members of the band. You've got to worry about your crew. Mm -hmm. You've got your management, your agency. Mm -hmm. You've got your record company. You've got mm -hmm. promotion, mm -hmm. your publicist. You've got your fans. You've got to take care of interviews. You've got to do photos. Mm -hmm. You've got all your equipment to deal with. And, and I really don't have that much time to sit around and listen to records. When I do listen to stuff, some of the bands I really like listening to is Diamond Head, Motorhead. I like Guns N' Roses. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you one of the, um, the bands that really, really influenced me the most is um, Led Zeppelin when I was growing up. I really oh, nice. liked Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. I, I also like um, Merciful Fate, which is a, a band that's broken up since then, and um, now they've uh, gone on to being called King Diamond. Actually, it's not even any of the members of the band now. The singer has started his own band called King Diamond, and he's weeded out, and unfortunately for himself, mm -hmm. he's kicked out all the members that were part of Merciful Fate, which is a, a foolish move, I think, on his part. But I still like their style of music, and mm -hmm. I still like uh, Merciful Fate more than any of the band. Your new album, So Far So Good So What, has received good reviews here in Japan. Uh, are you satisfied with the new album? Well, so far, so good. So, so what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I see. It's a simple answer. Yeah, I like it. Yes. Uh, um, so, uh, this is going to be the last question. Uh, what is the goal for Megadeth? A goal is three points. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I think right now what we're trying to do basically is become one of the first bands that don't, well... Uh, <laughs> knock our beer over. <laughs> alcohol abuse. Uh, we, we want to be one of the first bands in history, mm -hmm. in the rock and roll history books, that don't let um, stardom go to their heads because a lot of bands actually, you know, they... they they take it for granted that the uh, longevity of a band is very short-lived. You can be here today and gone tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And um, all it is is a matter of what you're about, what you think about, how much you care about the people that pay for you to survive, mm -hmm. because the fans are the one that pays the bills. Mm -hmm. And if you start acting like you're hot stuff and you start you know, not paying attention to your fans, that's when it's over because they are the ones that control your destiny. Mm -hmm. I see. Thank you very much. Dave, do you know you have Ditto. What he said. What he said. Great. Okay. So thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Sayonara. Thank you very much. Bye. Mm.